Hi, I'm Gordon Jennings with barcoders.com. Today we're at scrapbook.com to show you how some of our programs work. We're going to show you how they work to make you more efficient, cut down on your errors, and over the long run make you more profitable. Hi, we're at scrapbook.com today and I'm going to show you how the RF lookup program works. First of all, I'm going to arrow down to the RF lookup program. In this case, it's, it's called lookup items. And all it does is it allows you to look up and get information about a specific SKU in your inventory. The way that it works is you can either key in or the SKU or the UPC, the barcode of the item, and then it will return several pieces of data for your information. In this case, I'm going to start with this one, this uh, SKU. I'll scan it and it goes to the Stone Edge database and pulls back information about this particular SKU. In this case, it shows, it tells us what the SKU is, the location, the UPC, and it shows a QOH or quantity on hand, and a RUS or reserved unshipped. The quantity on hand is really the Stone Edge available for sale, which is available, the amount available on your website available for people to purchase. The reserved unshipped. Are, is physical inventory that has been sold, approved, uh, orders that are approved but hasn't been shipped yet. So the, the, uh, the sum of the two items should add up to what's in the box. And in this case it shows 13 and if we add, if we counted the, the items in here we'll see that there are 13 items. So with RF lookup it's useful for a couple things. One is for returning items to the shelf because when you you have an item and you scan it it'll tell you the location so then you can find it in your warehouse so returned items or if you're receiving items and it can take the items that you've just received on your received receiving dock and re and and uh, return those to the to the proper location on the shelf or it can be used as the first step in cycle counting the, the, the way that it, it would be used in the first step of cycle counting is Let's say we want, to, we want to take an inventory of this row. You simply pull out an, an item from the bin and you scan the item. It then looks up in the Stone Edge database the physical quantity. It tells you the available for sale plus the reserved unshipped. Add those two together and that's what should be in the bin. In this particular case it returns nine uh, quantity on hand and zero reserved unshipped. So if I were to count the items in here, there's exactly nine in this bin, which is what, what there should be. So I would then move to the next item and, and scan that one. So now I scan that one, and in this particular case it says two quantity on hand with zero reserved unshipped. And if I look in the bin, there are two. So that physical quantity syncs with the, the quantity online, and so on and so forth. Now, if the, if the uh, numbers were off, you could take a red sticky note and put on here, and someone could come along later on and adjust using our cycle count program from the aisle. They can adjust the quantity on hand, making your physical inventory sync with your online inventory uh, count. 